everybody, Nate Broad here. I just want to show you um, a tent and do a quick review for you. So this is the Triarch One, and this is a North Face tent. It's very small, very lightweight. It's actually just two and a half pounds, fully packed. So you can easily put this even on the inside of your bag, not just on the outside. Hey everybody, Nate Broad here. I want to show you a couple things. One, I just got this sweet new tent, the North Face Triarch One. It's very small, very lightweight. I couldn't find any good reviews on this online at all. So I decided to make one. So hopefully um, it'll get you guys to buy this if it's right for you or save you the headache of returning it if it's not. So let me show you guys a little bit about this and I'll set it up here in my living room because it's raining uh, cats and dogs outside. This is two pounds, 13 ounces packed. So just how it comes in the box from the mail, two pounds, 13 ounces. You can do just the rain fly and the footprint and leave a tent at home. And then you save a lot of weight. It's one pound, 15 ounces. So if you really like roughing it and um, that's what you want to do, you don't mind the bugs, perfect option for you. So I'm going to take this apart. I'm going to show you guys um, how it works, some of the unique things about it, and we'll get started. By the way, I, I wanted to show you guys the poles are very lightweight, and it's almost all one pull, so I'll show you. It's all one pull plus this, which widens the middle to make everything nice and taut. So I'll show you how that works. And we'll put this whole thing together. Okay, then let me show you here. Okay, I wanna show you guys something very interesting. First of all, this is the final picture of what it looks like, right? Get that beautiful North Face logo on there. You can tell everything's, everything's very taut, right? Nothing's really loose in it, which is awesome. It's nice and tight. Because it's a one-man tent, you wanna have all the room possible, right? Now, here's one thing that you guys are gonna really like. So you notice how this is curved in, and this is a waterproof lining, by the way. Any, anything with this bathtub dark color on the tent is waterproof. So you don't even really need the fly, or the, sorry, the uh, footprint, but I would recommend using it to protect the bottom of the tent. But So here's how this works. I'm going to put the fly um, over the top here in just a minute, but because of this curvature, 
this pulls in, right? So water isn't going to flip around and then get in here and, and get you damp from moisture or anything like that. So this really prevents moisture from getting into the tent um, on top of just being waterproof. Now, one other awesome feature about this is this isn't just a two zipper piece that connects here in two pieces, right? This is does have two zippers, but it's all one piece. You can almost do it with one hand. Now, the advantage to having these one zipper versus a V that connects them that are two different pieces is you don't have an air gap and you don't lose zippers from falling off. A lot of tents have that two piece system. Zippers will just disappear on your camping trip, which is obviously a huge, huge problem. So I'll show you a couple things real quick too. So before we put the fly on, I wanna show you. Obviously you have this nice little tab. If it's a beautiful sunny day, you wanna keep it open and you're not worried about bugs or anything. Awesome, right? So I went ahead and put my wife's sleeping bag here in a nice, nice little climate pad, which I'll show you in a minute. But let me get in here. I'm gonna show you what's cool about this. So, do you notice how, by the way, this is seven feet exactly. Seven feet, 84 inches by uh, 29 inches. You notice how here's the end, right? But it tapers off up again, right? So I put my feet here, and it actually looks like I've got a lot more room. You see that? Because it's tapering off. So you don't worry about hitting your head or getting your feet damp. I'll show you. I actually have a lot of room. I'm not a huge guy. I'm 5'10", but I, I have a ton of room above my head. A lot up there. There's a couple of gear lofts here. And even though it, it's just a, a rectangle shape, you kind of are meant to have your head on this side because of how the door is laid out, where the gear loft is, and then where a second gear loft is. Now I wanna show you, look how much room this has, this tapered off area. Maybe hard to tell, but you see how it pulls back? There we go, now you can see. So I actually have a lot more room and I've got a pretty huge gap by my feet. I'll show you, I won't move, but look how much extra feet, feet room I have there. So I, that's the big thing I wanted to show you is the tapered off really makes it feel like you have a lot more room, it's a lot more comfortable, and it's uh, just an extra layer to prevent um, from rain getting in. And actually, I, my mistake, there's also a gear loft on this side. I forgot about that, so perfect. Now these here are the um, stakes that come with. I think if I remember correctly, this is some sort of titanium. These are their DAC stakes. They are extremely lightweight. I feel like I'm holding a toothpick right now. Comes with plenty. Comes with a separate bag for it too. And let me show you now the, how the how the rain fly looks. As you can tell, the way this is angled, no water is gonna get underneath there, right? And I'll tell you what, when you pull these tight again, it actually makes this go even further down, but because of that, that curvature, you're not gonna get any water in there, which is nice. Now, uh, these are color-coded, only one color, because the only thing that needs to match is this side of the fly to this side of the tent. Everything else is um, yellow. Now again, I am indoors, so this is hard to show you, um, but picture it, you know, like this, right? It's gonna look really nice, it's gonna be really tight, um, and the waterproofing is incredible on this. Now here's one awesome thing too. So again, it's gonna be more like out here. One cool thing is this little high-low venting system. So this basically stays just like that. So when this is pulled out, it stays sticking out like that. And the reason for that is to prevent condensation from the inside of the tent. I'm sure you guys know, um, if you say threw two tarps on your tent, you'd probably wake up pretty wet because of the condensation that would get into the tent. This high venting still keeps heat in, but keeps a, a good air exchange so that you don't have any issues with getting wet and condensation inside the tent. All right, so this is the, the tent, and now I'm going to remove the tent, and I'm gonna take a, a quick video and show you guys how it works to just use the rain fly and the footprint itself. All right, so I will admit it takes a little bit longer to set up um, the footprint in the fly only. Um, takes maybe two minutes to set up the tent normally. It's a little bit more difficult with this, but not terribly difficult. Still very, very easy. 
so this is if you are feeling really adventurous, want to shave those pounds, you can leave the whole tent at home. And instead of two pounds, 13 ounces, then you are at one pound, 15 ounces. So you shave actually quite a bit of weight, cl pretty close to a pound. Uh, but let me show you kind of how that works. So as you go into your little rain shelter here, uh, the difference is they have these little sleeves, right? Do you guys see that? So with that sleeve, you don't actually use that sleeve at all when you set the tent up normally. At least you don't have to. However, it is very much required in order to leave the tent at home. And then they have these little Velcro things here that you put your tent poles into, which is supposed to kind of align that seam there. And it does a pretty good job. Um, and then here is that high-low venting, which is why the nice thing about this is you don't actually feel cold when you're in it but it does allow uh, ventings. But it's a about two, maybe three inches of a, a gap. It's not straight across. You can't see unless you really hold your hand down, um, which is very nice and uh, has these little little guides that you kind of put that through. No sleeve here, um, which I thought was unusual, but it, it actually does not affect the, the tent at all. It just kind of kind of fits perfectly in there. But anyway, this is, uh, if you're feeling more adventurous, again, with poles, this would be, or with stakes, this would be all the way out here. So you would definitely not get wet um, as long as you don't move around, you know, a ton in your sleep. Anyway, this has been a video review. Keep in mind, uh, the best place to get this is Amazon. It's uh, significantly cheaper. I'll post the link for you guys to um, take a look at if you, if you choose to, that this is the right tent for you and you want to get it. Amazon was a lot cheaper. You do have a lifetime warranty with North Face. It doesn't matter where you bought it. You just have to register the product. And one major advantage is it comes with the footprint. I know a lot of tents do not, and most of the time footprints are around 40, 50 bucks. Well, this comes with it. All the Triarch series tents come with the footprint. So if you guys have any questions, by all means, take a look at the link. Thanks for watching.